And we are joined now by the British National Party candidate for Mayor of London, David Furness. Hi, David. Um, I was just wondering, we th well, I thought we'd start off by looking at the housing crisis in London and how you plan to deal with it. Well, uh, housing, uh, the housing problem is, uh, is uh, severe in London. Um, the first thing to say is that it's a result of um, the excessive immigration and the other candidates won't uh, acknowledge this. Now, what I plan to do is to stop that demand by stopping immigration. That's our policy, a moratorium on immigration. Now, also, we want a local connection assessment test for social housing to ensure those who grew up in London have a chance to live in London. Uh, we want to build more social housing where we can on brownfield sites, but we're, I'm not going to make any wild promises as the other candidates are doing. Mm. How, do you, how do you plan to end immigration as a whole? Is, are, are there any measures you have in mind? Well, we want a moratorium on immigration until we sort out this mess. I know the mayor is one of the most, mayor of London is one of the most important uh, political posts in the country. So um, I'd be using, if elected as mayor, I'd be using uh, my influence on the government to say, look, these are the problems. It's unsustainable. 10,000 a month. It's just unsustainable. Um, and you've got, you've got people living in uh, uh, beds in sheds. People are living in sheds and uh, garages. Uh, we've got to put a stop to that. I suspect many of them are illegal. So as London Mayor, you'd like to extend its influence to try and impact on national policies? Yes, because we, we, someone's got to take a stand. Enough is enough. London's full up. Everyone knows that. And it, it's just utter madness the way we're going on. We can never build enough houses. We're always playing catch-up. Uh, 10,000 a month, that's 120,000 a year. And these other candidates think they can build 50,000. When you ask them how much does it cost to build, they've got uh, no idea how much it costs or how long it's going to take. And a lot of their promises are relying on the government uh, releasing men for free. And I don't think they're going to do that. Mm. So, David, in terms of other flagship policies, what would, if David Furness was elected as the Mayor of London, what, would, what else would you, would you uh, attempt to sort out as London Mayor? Well, we've got transport problems. Again, it's um, due to excessive immigration. But my opinion on Heathrow Airport is no, because mm. they should move uh, one and extra one way, move it to Gatwick, less environmental impact. Uh, Heathrow Airport's one of the, uh, it is Europe's largest noise pollute and uh, mm. also I want to protect the free travel card for Londoners who are over 60 there's a lot of talk in City Hall that they're going to withdraw this valuable concession and people who are over 60 and those coming up to 60 are, are worried about it so I protect that uh, I don't want to cross Royal 2 station in Chelsea that would save up to a billion pounds. 95% of the residents don't want it. Use that money to put it somewhere else. Uh, put it in, There's a station where people do want it. Uh, there's other things. Uh, zero tolerance on antisocial behavior. A five-year minimum uh, prison sentence for knife crime in the capital. I think the police should be more proactive and less reactive. It, their perception is they're just handing out crime reference numbers. Uh, one thing that I like what Ealing Council are doing, they're improving street lighting. They're uh, replacing these out-of-date, high-pressure sodium lights with new energy-efficient uh, LED light-emitting lanterns. And this it, it results in improved visibility, a reduction in crime, and less car accidents. A two-year study of those areas where they've changed the lights shows that crime has gone down 17%. But we're, we're, we've got great policies on the environment. It's very important to the British National Party. The first thing to say, no building on the Green Belt. We must protect the Green Belt. Mm. And uh, I've mentioned Heathrow Airport expansion, but we want more trees to be planted because they, they improve air quality mm. and they help to make an area look more, more natural. Yes. And I want to protect ancient woodlands in uh, Greater London. There's one in West London I'm familiar with, Islip Woods National Nature Reserve, 700 acres. 
of ancient woodland. I'd like to protect that, give financial assistance to the local council involved. And uh, also a lot of these nature reserves in London have uh, volunteers, have, like volunteer uh, park rangers. Maybe they need equipment, maybe they should be given financial assistance, but we must protect the environment. Mm, definitely. Um, looking at the election as a whole, I wondered what you thought separated the BNP and your own candidacy from that of UKIP and Peter Whittle and uh, Britain First and Paul Golding in particular. Well, Britain First, uh, I don't know much about them, but I, I gather there's some sort of vigilante street movement mm. where we, we, British National Party is a proper political party with uh, proper policies. Uh, I understand from that Paul Golding has been turning down interviews. I haven't turned down one interview. Mm, yeah. And UKIP, the, the problem with UKIP is that they've already achieved their goal uh, of wanting the British people to have uh, a free vote on Europe. Mm. They've achieved that already, so they've got nowhere to go. They've achieved that, and after June 23rd, uh, they'll be redundant. But in terms of the immigration policy, would you not argue that they are similar, or would you say that they are, you know, UKIP are completely different in, in their Well, UKIP are, UKIP are different because they, they keep banging on about um, this Australian points, uh, Australian-based points system. Mm, yes. But what they don't tell you is that we've already got such a system for skilled workers in this country. It's been in existence since 2008, and the limit for skilled workers is about 20... Just over 20,000, I think it's increased slightly, so it's less than 25,000 a year. UKIP wanted to increase that to 50,000. Mm -hmm. And then you add on their children and their dependents, we're talking about a quarter of a million a year. Now, I would say that uh, it's a myth that we have to have, we have to import workers because immigration is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. If we've got emergency, for workers, then we could always issue temporary work for, uh, permits. And that means they're not allowed to bring over their dependents or their children, mm. and not allowed to claim uh, benefits. And this system is used throughout the throughout the, the world. So that's the main difference just between bef us. Just before I ask you the final question, would you mind just clarifying exactly what the British National Party stance is on immigration, so is it a complete halt to immigration, or is it a, a serious reduction, or is it is it a halt for a certain amount of time? Well, we believe that it's got so it's got so bad that we want a moratorium. That means a halt to all further immigration while we sort out this mess, and that means find out who's here legally and who is here illegally, and we also um, want to build houses for the people here already. We want to give jobs to the people here already. So it, it's a, it's a, a halt to further immigration until we can sort out this mess. Right. Thank and, you. And just to, just to finish off, I was wondering uh, whether you'd be using your second preference for um, the mayoral candidacy uh, and the London Assembly. Well, I haven't decided yet, but it certainly won't be for Labour because mm. of all this. Uh, they, 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 they're now known as the anti-Semitic party. And uh, the, their candidate has proven links to ex extremists, so I certainly won't be voting for them. But you haven't you haven't ruled out endorsing another party, not obviously directly, but yourself and BNP members. There's no set party that you will be endorsing. That's right. We leave it up to uh, individuals. There's no set party. There's no plan. But it certainly won't be for the um, anti-Semitic Labour Party. Okay. Well, thank you very much, David, for joining us. Best of luck with the campaign in the final few days. Thank you very much. To donate to the British National Party, please call 0844 809 4581 or go to www.bnp.org.uk forward slash donations forward slash general.